As of writing this, Natees has not announced anyone for the Identity VX Bungo Stray Dogs crossover, so I wanted to try and figure out who would be who. I have no way of knowing what characters will be in the essence, so I'm just going to do any of the main or popular ones I guess. Also I have no clue who some people would be, so if your favorite character isn't here I don't know what to tell, you man, according to my super great brain skills that have yet to fail me on the journey of my life, Yozno is an easy one. She's a doctor, and there's a doctor in game. Boom, we're done here. Although another option for Yozno would be barmaid, but I don't know why they would do that. At sushi, I can't make a clear answer for. But I have three ideas. Number one. He could be postman, which is unlikely, but let me explain. I'm not sure how Natees would go about making it sushi do the tiger thing, so maybe they would just get lazy and not do anything like that. At sushi sometimes carries a bag, and Victor has a bag, balm. And I know what you're thinking. But what about the dog? Simple. The dog will no longer be a dog but a mini tiger. Like I said I don't see this happening but I'm putting it out, there. Number 2, Wilding. Murrow rides a boar, but maybe Natees would go crazy and somehow turn the whole getting on the boar thing into a crazy magical girl tiger transformation. If at sushi is the S tier, then it's a possibility. But I'm even less confident in this than with Postman. Number 3, The Final Possibility, Mercenary. Nab already has tons of furry skins, so why not give him at sushi too? The elbow pads can be tiger paws, and he can go flying all over the place at great speeds just like in the anime when he's half transformed. Kunikido is the novelist and I won't take any other answers. He has the funny little notebook, Orpheus has a funny little book, they're made for each other. But not like that. Kyoka is an easy one too she would be geisha. I don't even have to, explain why. Does I. Um. His skill is to cancel other skills with one touch, and the only character that really would fit that is prisoner. There are other stun characters, but the stun animation for Luca would work best with Daz I. Plus if you think about it from the perspective of a company that wants your money, if you give the fan favorite character to one of the more popular in-game characters, you get sales. I know that the decoding skill doesn't really fit, but not every character is going to match up perfectly with another. And if you're going to complain that Luca has too many crossover skins, it's not my fault, Ranpa my beloved would most likely be lawyer, as weird as that might be. I know he doesn't really have a book or anything, but I think with his ultra deduction, skill thing, it would make sense for him to be able to see everyone else on the map. Maybe lawyer's book can be a case file or something like that. Mori will be nobody please don't add him. I have absolutely no clue who Chuya would be, but I'm adding him in here for my friend who will strangle me if I say Chuya may not be in the crossover. So. There are hardly any characters that can manipulate, gravity or anything close to that, but there is mercenary, which is kind of close to a kind of gravity skill. Unless Chuya is. Lucino. But that would be horrific. The only other character I could see him being is Prospector, but that's magnetism and not gravity, so they would be lying to me. Akutagawa, my son without the brows, he's more likely to end up as a hunter. I'm not really sure who, but, it would probably be one with a far reach, like. Hastia. It's weird to think about but if they could give Yura that one crossover skin, they can give Hastur Aku Tagawa. Head Cannon, Yura and Hastur go to cosplay conventions together, another option for Aku Tagawa would be Jack, but I like Hastur better so I'm going with that one. Elise's little girl, no explanation needed. Oda is. Not here. And, finally, the most anticipated character of them all. The lemon bomb guy who I don't even know the name of. He would either be Agrabat, or Guard 26. I'm leaning more towards Mike though, because they don't redo voice lines for skins, so if I heard this man going beep boop while trying to kill me I would delete the game.